A lot of you guys have heard of Dow Strong. It's a bit of a controversial company. There's been some speculation that Dow Strong is like some of these Chinese clothing brands that you see on social media and other places. And they're, you know, I, I've literally seen uh, a shirt be advertised with one name. And then two days later, the exact same shirt, very unique looking. So it has to be the same shirt is uh, advertised with a different name. And so, you know, there's definitely some speculation that that's happening with Dow Strong. But today, uh, we're gonna take a look at the Dow Strong Viking Series Valhalla Barbecue Pitmaster Knife. Just right up front, I bought this with my money. So this is not a sponsorship in any way. I just thought it was a pretty cool looking knife. It fits my style. Let's check it out. The first thing I'll say is the packaging is very nice. The marketing, the imagery, you know, some packages just feel like quality, whereas others you can tell are just very cheap. And Apple, I think kind of really started that. And uh, you know, good packaging means good products. Nice color scheme, nice logos. And from here, there we go. A little book, probably some marketing showing you their other products customer service card, welcome to the family card, free VIP membership, cool sticker, it's clear, and they give you a pen, which is kind of cool. But here is the knife. Nice sheath. Oh yeah, that's why I bought it. Look at the way that presents. That's just a beautiful knife. there any quality in this knife? And you know, what I can tell you is there's definitely a curve in this blade and it's hard to see, but the top is bent this way. And so it, it bows like that, just barely, but it's there. And it's very, very obvious when you hold it like this. That's not good for sharpening. It, it means that it's gonna be hard to get a nice, clean edge on this. And speaking of an edge, let's see how it cuts. That's sharp. Rather it stays sharp, that's, a, that's another story. The blade on the backside is fairly thick. And it's got a nice taper down to the edge. I like the detail along the, the blade edge there. You can see that, that's pretty neat. I think what Dow Strong does really well is marketing. Right on the box, it says a true warrior never dies, immortalized in honor. They feast on the spoils of combat, toasting their comrades as they wait to be called for the final battle. Are you gods or are you men? With this blade, you're both. Victory or nothing. I love the, the resin uh, handle. It, it, it feels good in your hand, it feels smooth. Probably could have been polished a little more. It looks a little bit dull. I like the detail. The knife looks wonderful. Now, I don't know how it's gonna hold up, you know, after using it a lot. I, I can see that there's this line right here. This line right here. Maybe some of you knife guys out there can tell us what that is and what that means. And so I'm not sure how this is gonna hold up, but uh, I can tell you it looks amazing. It's gonna look great in videos. And uh, it's sharp right now, so. Uh, let's cut some chicken and see how it does in the real world. The two groups of people that the most controversy arises with Dow Strong are the people that are in the group of, you know, you have to buy everything uh, American. It's got to be made in the USA. And we just don't make all the stuff that we need to make in the United States. And that's because they can make it so much cheaper outside of the United States. And it's hard to beat that. It's hard to compete with that. Now. What I'll say is I think American-made products are generally better quality. Uh, that I don't think there's any doubt about that. But 
That's not to say that products from other countries aren't made up with quality. And I'm not gonna rule this knife out because it's made in a different country. It's just not how I do things. If you make quality stuff at a good price, I think there should be a, a, an even and fair market for you. Definitely sharp. Now the other group of people that seem to have a problem with Dow Strong are professional chefs. Now, I'm not a professional chef, so I, I can't rebuttal anything that, you know, any of their criticisms. And I would say maybe from a commercial perspective, if you're watching this, you're probably like me and you're a backyard chef. You love food, you love knives, you love creating great food with cool knives. And I think that is the market Dow Strong is aiming for. And that's why their marketing is such, you know, it's genius. I don't see anything wrong with that. They have the look of a knife that's, you know, five or $600, but it's only 100 and, you know, 10, 120, 130, whatever. Let's see how it does. We're gonna try to split it right in half. That's pretty sharp, guys. Look at that. Yeah, that's, that's the sharpest knife that I've ever gotten from Dow Strong. I have probably six or seven of them. And this one I definitely am impressed with so far. Now it's time to see how this knife will do with a beef tenderloin. And I'm here to tell you, as you can see here in the video, it cuts through it like butter. One swipe forward, one swipe back. Dow Strong appears to be a Canadian company if you look at their website. However, I believe the knives themselves are manufactured in China, although I can't find any evidence one way or another. They do offer a lifetime warranty on their knives, although I've never had to try and use that. And they do produce a absolutely beautiful knife at a much lower price point than it appears that it should be at. That's where the concern lies. Typically, you make that up when it comes to quality, so therefore, a lower price point is going to be a lower quality knife. All I can tell you is about my experiences with Dow Strong, and I've had nothing but great experiences with them and their company and their customer service. I think they focus a lot on the appearance of knives, and there's nothing wrong with that because they put out some epic looking knives. I think we can all agree this eight inch barbecue pitmaster knife just looks amazing, and it cuts sharp right out of the box. Time will tell how it holds up. The company's given me no reason to not like their products. I understand the criticism from professional chefs because it's a different world as far as a commercial world versus a residential world when it comes to quality, longevity, safety, efficiency. They are completely different things. But for your backyard pitmaster, your backyard cooks, especially if you're making any videos with them, I think it's hard to compete with Dow Strong's products. And therefore, I'm gonna to continue to use Dow Strong and purchase their products until they give me a reason not to. Please tell us down in the comments below if you have any experience with Dow Strong's products. If you're interested in purchasing a Dow Strong knife, I would really appreciate it if you use the link down in the video description because it does allow Delmarva Backyard to have just a tiny little compensation of your purchase price and it doesn't raise your price at all. It'll help us continue to be able to review products like this as well as cook some amazing food. I'd also appreciate it if you share this video with someone who may be interested in Dow Strong Knives. I hope you guys have an awesome week and I can't wait to talk to you on the next video.